They say she showed up at the kid's house with a handgun and is seen on the ring cam threatening to kill the mom and herself for, quote, ruining my life for reporting the sex with the kid. And the reporting is kind of important because the mom found the 13-year-old boy or boy's uh, cell phone and found a bunch of text messages that were like, "What? whoa, hold it. That's 24-year-old social worker, your 13-year-old boy. And one of the text messages was like, did you delete the videos of us? Like, did your mom see them? From Peyton, that's what the police say. So that's not, that's really not good. Uh, she is now facing two additional charges in addition to the sex with the boy, and that is uh, two felony charges of witness intimidation. Yikes. I want to bring in Dante Mills. He is a criminal defense attorney. That's my question for you, Dante. As we look at video of her crying to the judge saying, I didn't want to kill her, uh, my question is, yikes. Like, how do you defend this? Um, she is just in a boatload of trouble. Uh, yikes is right. I have on my Halloween colors. This is a scary story. Um, this is someone who was, yeah. supposed, to, who was supposed to protect this kid uh, and ended up uh, having... Uh, sexually assaulting this kid. So first, let's just break down the charges and what they mean. She's charged with uh, unlawful sexual contact or conduct with a minor. There's different degrees to this, and this is important. She's more than 10 years older than him. She's only 24, but he's 13. So that makes this the highest level offense that there could be, because if you're less than four years older than the person, there's, there's some uh, you know, forgiveness there. But because she's more than 10 years older than him, and he's only 13, uh, this is the highest level. So she clearly violated him. And then she went back, like you said, and tried to uh, tell the mom that she was going to kill the mom and herself because they ruined her life. And now she's facing two additional charges uh, for witness intimidation. And ironically enough, those penalties are almost more severe than the penalties for the underlying sexual misconduct charges. And that kind of gives you pause. That's what I thought was up. weird. Yeah, like up to five years, I think, per for the intimidation, but only like 18 months or so for the other stuff that I thought was far worse. Having sex multiple times, by the way, this wasn't just a little bit of heavy petting. This was multiple times having sex in multiple locations around the city. I do want to mention she was a social worker and she was his mental illness counselor, which makes this even more distressing. At the same time, I question her mental fitness um, because she is so wrought uh, with whatever emotion she's going through. She made this terrible decision to go to the house after she got out on bond and wave a gun around on the camera. Will that play into this, her mental stability? I, I don't know if it'll play into her competency, but will it play in at all in terms of leniency? So this is very interesting because you would assume for someone to perform this behavior, they, there has to be something mentally wrong with them, right? There has to be some illness there. But in order for her to show that up, uh, she's going to need the people around her to say she has a history of mental illness. You can't just say, I had a mental lapse and committed this crime only, right? You have to show a history. She's going to need her fiance to come in and say, yes, uh, I've seen weird things happening in the last couple of years, or she's been off here. She's going to need the support of the people that she betrayed the most to come in and support her and say, yes, she's had some mental illness prior to committing this crime. So you can't commit a crime, get so nervous about it that you start doing weird things and then say, oh, I have a mental illness. You have to show that you had issues before you actually committed the crime, and she's going to need the people that she hurt to come in and verify that. If she can get them. Um, Dante Mills, great to have you. You got to come back. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Happy Halloween. Thanks for coming. Okay. Hey, right back at you, too. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.